now we have to find a new house. <laughs> we've been looking for houses. We've been house hunting for two months now. And a month ago, at 10 a.m. on a Sunday, our realtor, me, and my wife interrupted an orgy. <laughs> we interrupted an orgy. We were told, go to this house at 10 a.m., we'll take a tour. We knock on the door, we wait, no one answers. We're just about to leave. We were just about to walk away. Door opens, there's this guy. Oh, oh wow, um, that's right. You guys were gonna look at the house. We, uh -huh, a bunch of my friends came by. When he said the word by, this wave of fuck fumes came rolling out of the house. Hit us. He, he, he sees that we have smelled it. We see that he sees that we've smelled it. And instead of everybody just going, goodbye, now the social contract kicks in and we've got to cover because we're civilized human beings. So he says, would you like to take a tour of the house? In parentheses, because you did not just catch me fucking dozens of people. And we have to respond, of course we'd like to tour the house, parentheses, because in no way have we caught you fucking dozens of people. So in we go into this enchanted forest of cock shafts and labias. It was, yes, exactly. We walk inside, there are air mattresses all over the floor. People are scattering everywhere. At one point, this busty Russian girl comes out, putting a robe on. Oh my goodness, the, um, the cleaning lady did not come by. Oh, you're not even fucking trying. Really? That was the first thing you thought of. Yeah, the cleaning lady didn't come by at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. You should fire that bitch. That's really unprofessional. Everyone knows Saturday night's fuck night. Bring three buckets. So we're just trying to get this over with, and then a guy, well, a blonde 17-year-old kid comes out of the bathroom, and he's got Craigslist hookup written all over him. <laughs> this was a, we need a 14th. So he comes out of the bathroom, and he got dressed in, he put on whatever was in the bathroom to wear. And here's what was in the bathroom. A pair of girls' sweatpants, that he has put on backwards so the word juicy is across <laughs> his groin. Juicy. Juicy. Which, I hate to say, probably factually accurate. <laughs> then, he's also wearing a girl's tank top from The Gap, aqua blue or whatever it was, and he comes out, and with no one asking him a question or even looking at him, he announces, well, everyone, I'm leaving, goodbye. So that ensures everyone turns and looks as he opens the sliding glass back door and just walks away from the house. We're in the fucking Hollywood Hills. There's nothing back there. There's no other roads. He's just walking into the trees and bushes, barefoot. There, where the fuck is he going? There he goes, sweetie. There goes fuck squatch through the underbrush. Look at that. A rare sighting of that cryptozoological marvel. Honey, get your camera. Take a blurry picture of fuck squatch. Oh, fuck squatch. What secrets do you hide? <laughs> We're driving away from the house, and that's when my wife says, I think everyone in that house was fucking each other. <laughs> You're just now realizing that. We were standing in a fog bank of twat mist for 10 minutes. We are going home to burn our clothing, and it just now hit you.